It's the very last video from the old garden because the weather is so fine. I present to you the longest slingshot crossbow in history. It's three meters long. And in the front, I mounted a cougar. And on the other side, I mounted removable the um, slingshot release that I built so that this is cockable. So why am I doing this? Well, because I want to find out the maximum. So um, my arm span in butterfly shooting is about 1 meter 60. But then imagine Dirk Nowitzki would shoot uh, in butterfly style with his 7 feet or 2 meter 30 wingspan. And now imagine he would have a forward extended kind of starship-like uh, slingshot. So then he would have 3 meters draw length. And since I'm not Dirk Nowitzki and I'm also not strong enough like Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, I call this the Nowitzki Egger Challenge. Uh, I want to find out if there would be a crossbreed between those two, Schwarzenegger and Nowitzki, and if they would be willing to, to shoot a long slingshot, what would happen? Let's find out. So let's load it first. Um, we take the 36 mm, 19 mm, uh, 30, 36 gram lead ball, and we take the slingshot release, put it in, and now what we do is we just cock it by moving backwards, like this, 20 meters. And in the end, we put it into this hole here and fix it. Now it's cocked. And we can shoot. We're going to shoot through the crony, of course. Okay, that was 75.27. Wow, 75 meters per second with the 36 millimeter head ball. So with just about 15 kilograms of a draw weight, we managed to get over 100 joules of energy. Well within the lethal range that the US military spec set, 16 foot pound of energy. Well, and now let's see if a strong man like me can do that and equalize that with a handheld slingshot. So that was over 100 joules. Now let's see if we can kind of equalize this with the slingshot here, with the handheld slingshot, my W slingshot, this very wide Theora band. We're going to shoot the same 36 gram 19 millimeter lead ball, and uh, of course, we're going to be shooting it in butterfly style. So that was pretty close, but this is the winner. I guess Lovitzkin Egger showed me my limits. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye, guys.